going to sit here and tie a couple flies today. So first one I'm going to do is the uh, uh, just a gray drake spinner. It's probably my favorite fly that I run for that specific hatch. Um, sits low in the water, looks real, and uh, usually don't have too many times or too many times that fish won't eat it. So if it's presented properly, it's pretty effective. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to basically tie this on a size 12, but I'll tie it on 12s and 14s primarily. Um, you can tie it on a 10 if you wanted to as well, but I don't really run that many or see that many gray drakes that are actually that big. So anyway, we're going to tie this on a size 12 template. Um, we're going to use uh, the uni thread wine and an 8 -aught. Um We're going to use a grizzly hackle, two of them, some standard deer hair. Um, gray or a tannish gray. Uh, this is actually from a deer that I had shot. Uh, I like the color scheme in it. And then uh, the, we're going to use the Parapost, which is a fluorescent orange for the wing. And here we go. Alright, so first we're going to do is just kind of cover this hook with a good base of thread. All right, so after we get a good base of thread, we'll just come back here about to where the point of the hook starts, and we're gonna tie in our tail. For that, we're just gonna use some moose body hair. Uh, four or five strands are enough. And we'll just throw these in here to even the tips up a little bit. get the length of the tail what I'll do is put it on top of the hook I'm looking to go a little bit more than one one and a quarter times the length of the hook shank we're going to tie that in right at the bend and then when you're done just kind of take your thread come under that tail once it'll help to kind of prop it out and splay those hairs out a little bit and then we're going to keep wrapping these butts up towards the front of the hooks so that we can keep taper for the body of the fly. Alright, so the next part is to do the body. So if anybody fishes the gray drake hatch, you kind of understand that the bodies on these bugs are really skinny. So you don't need a lot of hair, but we need just enough to make sure that we can cover the hook as we uh, wrap the material in. Uh, we're going to do this Robert Drake style. So I'm just going to take a small clump here. And if you get too much, you can save some for the next fly. You want to get that under fur out as best as you can. Use a comb, flick it with your finger, you'll start to see it come out. Now we're going to stack the tips. Okay, now it feels about right. So what you want to do is kind of line your tips up so they go slightly into the tail. And then maybe one eye length behind the eye of the hook. We're just going to come in with a loose wrap and then a couple tighter ones. Now I want to take this hair and just kind of roll it around the hook a little bit. And then we're going to gather all this back up under our fingers. And then just do some crisscrossing wraps as we go towards the back. And then reverse the crisscrossing wraps as you come back forward. You can look underneath to make sure you got all the hair around there so there's no gaps. We're just going to trim this out. Go 
clean this up a little bit. All right, now we can go ahead and secure that hair with a few turns of thread. And we want to come back about two, maybe three eye lengths from the hook eye. And this is where we're going to tie in our wing. And for that, we're going to use some fluorescent orange pair post. Use any color you want. I can see orange pretty well, even in the low light periods. Uh, chartreuse works well. White can be a little bit hard to see, especially if you're fishing heavy bubble line seams at twilight. So we're going to use two strands for this. Just kind of pair them up. We're just going to tie this right in on top. cover up where we trimmed off the excess with some thread. Okay, so now what we want to do is kind of post up this wing. So we're going to go ahead and give a couple turns around the base. Kind of stand it up. I'm going to go ahead and tie in my two hackles and then we'll post up this entire thing together. All right, so I've already pre-selected my hackles. So this is a size 12 dry fly. Um, I gauge these for a size 8 and reason being is I want them to be spinner wings. So if I was to do a parachute, just standard parachute, I'd probably gauge this more at it like a 10, um, but I'm going to go twice the length. Uh, that I would normally tie in for a parachute, standard parachute. And we're just going to come in here at the base, find where those feathers want to separate, and we're going to rip off some of the stuff at the base. And then we'll go ahead and tie this right in. turns around this post, working our way up. And then work your way back down. At this point, you can trim up the stems of these hackles. Everything should be pretty well secured. Okay, so now advance your thread in front of the post. We're going to wrap both feathers together. So kind of hold this in one hand. And we're going to start turning right around the top. The first couple turns are always going to be the diff most difficult because this is where everything wants to roll over on top of itself. Once you get it started, start working your way back down. And we're going to put a good four or five, maybe six turns of hackle on here. come in and capture our feathers. Just kind of lift up on everything here. Get any stray hackles back in place. And 
All right. And now you can go ahead and whip finish this. Trim this hackle out. There's a reason why I left this to do last, just in case something happened. I was tying off my fly so I didn't waste a couple of good hackles. And we're just going to pull this up and cut it short. This is just for high visibility. Alright, so when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. It looks like a big mess, actually. And then we're just going to take our scissors and come in here from the front, kind of clip that area out, and then again from the back. And then when you're done, you should have what looks like the impression of a pair of spinner wings. And that's it. Pretty simple tie, very effective. Um, <laughs> without that little orange dot, pretty much impossible to see on the water in the evening. But spin up a few of these, try them out during your next Gray Scrake spinner fall. And uh, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the video. and. Have fun fishing.